Welcome Capricorn Aquarius to your chakra reading for November. I hope your friends are doing great out there. If your friends like this, please like and subscribe. Okay guys, let's see what's going on over here in your chakras. First card coming out is the base chakra. So really talking about I have and really keeping that in your mind about what you have, um, what you could have, um, things of this nature. This is talking about following the flow of life and trusting yourself and feeling centered and grounded and deeply connected, um, not only to the earth, but to yourself and all boundaries of life and choices, right? So really wanting to have the basic requirements to feel safe and survive and thrive abundantly. So just telling yourself, I have, it will keep that law and attraction going um, to know that this is what you want. So you're saying, I have the inner strength to carry on, um, not allowing anything to get me down having this beautiful solar plexus coming up, the inner strength is reminding you that it is time to call upon your inner strength. Tell yourself that I have these things. Um, you have the ability to deal with anything in your life. We are all a part of the universe, which has a magnificent power and energy available to us at all times. This is built within us. You are being invited to control and connect and acknowledge and call upon the incredible strength that lies within yourself. So any challenges that you may have at the present, just remember that you have the tools and the ability to conquest anything that comes your way, um, just through that courageousness that's within you and the trust within yourself to know that you um, can be pretty much the lion at any time that you want, right? Okay, so here we go, observing. Observe the areas around you, see what needs to be fixed, see what is really going on. Um, this observation over here is going to allow your inner strength to really come through with the solar uh, plexus. Why? Because you're going to be able to perceive things, taking a step back, seeing what's really going on, um, being able to release and surrender to anything that you don't want that will help you bring your inner strength back. Um, this is going to make new cycles, and of course, your perspective is going to be through the roof, right? Um, so yes, you're going to need to truly um, really observe the situation at hand, okay? So observation is going to be really needed at this time of the month to really figure out what is really going on to gain all that inner strength, to kind of break out of this crust that you have over here, finding the light within move. Spirit says moving at this time is a very good thing because this is going to allow you now to act. Once you start perceiving the things that you need to perceive um, in which way you can move and which directions you want to go um, to get to your stabilities and having that balance and vitality, um, this is going to now allow you to discipline yourself, focus yourself in the areas that you do need and take extra effort needed at this time. Okay, so this is going to allow you to take charge of the situation at hand, really giving you a lot of inner strength. Remain positive. Spirit says the angels say always remain positive throughout anything that you're doing. Um, not just this situation, but every situation that you're doing, right? Because remember, you hold the key. You are the key holder. And be the turtle. Be joyful and trusting. By being joyful and trusting, you are also allowing yourself to be in control once again. So there's a lot of being in control of your own situations, knowing that it's you who make these final choices. Um, no one else can do this but yourself. Um, even if you're with another person, you take on this control so that that way you can handle the situation with another person. They can see that you're in control. Maybe even where they're out of control, you can take the reins and say, this is the way it needs to be. Um, and then you guys can work it out the situation, right? So this is suggesting that you are protected and any sensitive feelings that are coming around you, talking about that water coming out, um, this is going to allow you to find the place of light within yourself and allowing you to become stronger within the inside without just feeling maybe like um, some days I wear my feelings on my sleeve because um, I'm not sure exactly where I'm going, what I'm doing. Um, this is going to give you the room to move in that um, higher vibration with more strength and, cur and courage. 
Um, just remember that the universe is rich and generous and has plenty enough for everybody. So don't forget that, right? Plenty of things here for all of us to do. And the two tarot cards you have is the two of swords using that intuition, which is going next to that observation, um, really using that awareness with the knight of swords that will get you moving um, to an area and you're within your life that you don't have to feel like you have to look back and say, hey, did I make the right steps? No, you know you're making the right steps because you're using your intuition to guide you. That gut feeling is helping you be more self-assured for the next move that you're doing, keeping that courage up, keeping that heart chakra up as well, um, knowing that you have the calm and the peace um, within you um, to go into the future um, and get the things done that you need, right? So you're kind of self-investing into yourself, um, this trust. There's a lot of trust going on over here, making sure that you trust yourself um, to make the right calls. Um, and then, of course, you know, making sure you might be a little stubborn about the situation, <laughs> right? You might be a little stubborn because now you're in the knowing. You're saying, I know where I'm going. I know where I'm going to get my stability. I know exactly what I have, what I can have, and now I'm going to move. Um, and with all this strength that's going up, I have the intentions. With the solar plexus, it's bringing in that extra intention now. So now you know exactly where your strong intentions are going to carry you. So now you're compelled and driven by this idea, by this intuitive move. You have the determination to go, and you're not blinded by anything, right? You are now in control of everything that's going on. And the possibilities for the goals now look even better than they did before. Right? Because now you're taking the lead. And whoever you're with probably needs that. I'm just going to say that right off the bat. It feels to me like if you have someone who is kind of, it could be a Capricorn, I don't know where I'm getting that, but I just heard Capricorn is um, kind of all over the place. I don't know where I'm going, indecisive. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, you can take that reins away and say, it's okay, hon. I know where we're going and I know where we're moving and I know exactly what we're doing. I've thought about it. I've observed the situation. Now we can move into this beautiful area. Okay. So let's see what's going on over here. Going straight to the observe move, the two of swords and the turtle. Okay. Yes, it's going to bring in the peace and harmony at the perfect timing. It is the perfect timing, Spirit says, to get this done. This is for this month. This is to get you going. That way, next month, you'll be in a better place because now you'll know that you finalize these ideas within yourself to be able to move in the right direction. And this is going to bring in not just the peace and harmony within either the relationship or the situation, but also the peace of mind and harmony within self. And there you go. The perfect progress. Feeling like you're actually moving in the right direction and pro progressing as you're going, right, with the Eight of Cups. And there's that perfect timing again. You might even feel like maybe this was one of those um, in a blue moon type of things, like, wow, it's time to go because it's a blue moon. Um, right, just out of nowhere, I just need to do this. Um, and it's, yeah, it's going to literally make your ship start moving because you, all these ideas of where you want to dock this ship, where you want to dock this idea, where you want to move with this situation is actually allowing you to see it come into play. Um, even if you're only observing it through the creativity of your imagination, of your mind, right, or seeing it through your intuition into creativity, at least now you know, hey, if I do it this way, I actually can see that, visualize that through my third eye and see it actually happening, right? So now you say that could work. But remember, don't forget to be the turtle because you have to trust in this situation, trust in yourself to get this going on the moving and remain positive, it's because now you have all of these new opportunities at hand, mostly within the mind, 
um, because we have the swords here. So it's saying within the mind, you're seeing all these new opportunities that can continue to bring in the stability that you're looking for. Keep you going into the I have and just remaining positive and keep saying, well, I do have this. I do have that. Because the more we keep saying we can, we do, we want, we desire, we get what we want more because of the law and attraction, right? Because you're keeping yourself positive. You're more likely to get something if you keep saying I have it than you will if you say I will never get that. Well, then fine, you'll never get it, right? So you just continue to keep saying I have the inner strength. I got this. And you do with the fool. Because now you're saying, I can make the leaps and bounds. I can see where I'm going. I can feel that I have this. And this is really where the Knight of Swords really starts taking place. Because now, where you're visualizing moving from the uh, third eye chakra into that intuition of the crown chakra, you're saying, I can now feel like I can physically move. So before it was like a mental moving into the physical actually taking action to patiently plan. Now you can really feel like you're sowing the seeds, moving in the direction that you need to, to move in as the emperor, wow. Why the emperor? And look at the bottom of the deck, guys, the wheel of fortune, bringing in that fortune, bringing in that new cycle, right? Why? Because it says, the emperor says, I do feel like I have the Midas touch of the idea. This is going to bring in the things that I do need. And I feel like I am more in control, more courageous, have my inner strength now to continue to be the emperor that I need to be. So you're really going to go into an emperor mode over here, kind of a boss mode, because once you get into the knowing, nothing's going to stop you, right? Now you can really start moving. Okay. And let's see. And it doesn't matter if you're going after a love. It doesn't matter if you're going after a house. It doesn't matter what you're going after. That's not the point. The point is, where am I moving? How am I going to get there? And how do I keep my base chakra going with, within my stability of what vitality, happiness, and strength that I have? And talking about law and attraction, guys, I'm going to be doing the law and attraction. It's going to take over the numerology this month. Um, got new cards. So we're going to learn money, attracting money, uh, law and attraction. So you might not want to miss that video. Okay, let's see what's going on over here. Mental repetition. That's exactly what we were just talking about. Mental repetition. I have, I have, I want, I can, I can. Keeping yourself saying those things. Because the more we say we can't, we can't, we don't. Think about that. If you're always complaining that you're always broke, guess what, my friends? You're probably always broke. Now, you don't do it from a egomatic way, right? We're not talking about ego. We're not talking about I'm so rich or making up stories, right? That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about the mental aptitude of mental repetition of how you keep a positive, go a positive attitude going about I have, I have the inner strength. I can be the emperor. I can have this. I will have this. Because the more that we keep continuing to tell ourselves we can't, we don't. And that is the absolute truth. Because law and attraction says so. The more you feed negative, the more you give negative back. Um, so, you know, the more you keep positive, the more you're going to see positive things coming in. It could be the smallest little things. It could just be a tiny little string coming at you that's tiny. You might not even notice that it's so good until you step back, observe it, and look at it and say, wow, you know what? That tiny little string is actually what I've attracted. It's just tiny at the moment, but just think of how long I can make it. Doesn't mean it's just all going to bust out at you, you know, in one day. So make sure that your mental repetition is exactly in the positive area of what you need, the inner strengths that you need to keep yourself strong, positive, and progressing in the areas that you need, no matter what the area is. Okay? And that was it for you, my friends. Until next time, peace and love. Bye-bye.